What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Madden Subscriber League. Today we are going to be doing some funny stuff. Now what is the what is the funny stuff? We're going to be taking a we're going to watch some playoff games. And we are in the divisionals. And we're going to watch the well, three games today. This, this and this. Now we're not watching this cuz none of them are your subscriber teams, so watching them is just going to be kind of pointless. So whoever wins this matchup will face um, either the Ravens or the Dolphins in the AFC Championship. Now I hope it's the Dolphins since the Ravens are not a subscriber team and the Dolphins is. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Now, now we're gonna face. Now this one's a subscriber versus subscriber matchup. Requeez Barkley versus Ignacio Jera. It's a defense versus offense matchup, so we can only watch one side of the ball. This one. We can also only watch one side of the ball, which is doll, which is you know the Dolphins, and this one is the subscriber subscriber offense versus offense, wide receiver versus wide receiver. So we're gonna see both sides of the ball, see which offense the better one. Now, now let's take a look at that Requeez Barkley versus the Ignacio Jarrett game. As you all know, if we go to the standings, and the Buccaneers, they took the league at thirteen and three. They won the they you know. They're the league champions, and well, not really, you know, Super Bowl champions, but you know, they're the best in the whole league. I, I'm pretty sure there's an award for that. I don't even know if they have that in the NFL. So, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the league at 13 and three. Which, if you kind of look at it now in modern days NFL, that's just kind of not really that good. But you know, they won it. They won it. That's all I can say. Now, let's look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who they got? Your quarterback is just average at best, 80 overall. I mean, he's still a six years pro, and he's 28. He, I think he has still some sort of room to improve. Other than that, I think he's done for other than that. But their offense is really good. The wide receiving core is actually pretty solid. And and Ignacio Giera, 81 overall. The rookie from Vanderbilt, that is star. Damn. Now, if we go to his stats, if we go to his stats real quick. He has a thousand receiving yards and eight TDs. He's the tight end. To, he's the best tight end in the whole league statistically, and he's making a Pro Bowl. Now, if we on look on the other side of the ball, which if we could go to a uh, roster, and if we go to the if we go to them Green Bay Packers, which if we can just do right here, and if we go to the middle linebacker, oh, their quarterback is still Jordan Love. Hmm. All right. Requeez Barkley, I gotta make sure I start him. Actually, is he starting? Oh, I don't fucking know. But anyway, Requeez Barkley, he, you know, he has one total tackle loss with 40 overall tackles, 3.5 sacks, and one interception. So, you know, who he may be a good matchup for Ignacio Jera. Who knows? But anyway, let's just get into the playoff game, shall we? I should not waste too many times so if we're watching three fucking games today. All right, and we are live right here in Tampa Bay, Florida, at the Raymond James Stadium. It is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Green Bay Packers. Now, I know who might win this. Mm -hmm. It could be you. It could be you. Now, whoever wins, wins. That's all I can say. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want me to say? Something normal? All right. By the way, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are wearing their 2010—no, not their 2010s, but their 2000 uniforms, which is which is unusual. But hey, it looks cool regardless. So right now, if we want to look at numbers, Ignacio Jarrett's number 80. So 80. Okay. So we got 80, and Requeez Barkley's 56. So 56 versus 80. Gotta keep that in mind. As now, let's watch the game. All right, didn't fuck up. All right here, they're just gonna run this in. Right here with a guy named Compton. Damn, so L, so Las Vegas beats Jacksonville, thirty-one and twenty-four. So Las Vegas is going to go to. The conference championship. So that's the matchup. So whoever, so the Ravens versus Miami game. Whoever wins that will face the Raiders in the conference championship. As right now, that's a good pass. That's a good pass. What a pass! 
82 is going to take it all the way for a TD. Even though that was not Ignacio Giro, the Buccaneers are trying to prove why they are no they were number one in the league. Damn, no one was covering him. Danny Wilborn, man, put him in the Hall of Fame. Right now, how will the Packers do? Oh, are they gonna do something? Oh shoot, they will. They will get a TD, and that is gonna be tie ball game. Now I can't wait for season two because. New, we got a lot of draft prospects and a lot of new people in the sub league, which is exciting as hell. I love that. You love that. Everyone loves it, which I'm excited for. Whatever happens, happens. In fact, most people on my league, most people that kind of watch this, they just kind of sleep on season one because you know it's just you know not, it's not really the best you know. But season two, that's where stuff gets interesting. You feel me? Right now, gonna pass it in to is that Ignacio. That it was not Ignacio. That was the G Warner. Damn. So now they have to punt it. Oh. So right now, the Packers just gonna punt it. Oh, pass play. Damn. Oh well, if you look at that, Picasso Warner is gonna intercept the ball, and the Packers are just gonna put that in. For an easy touchdown. Right now, the them Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You're my hometown team. I gotta rep the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Even though I'm a, more of a Pittsburgh fan than Tampa. But you know, I always gotta so you always gotta support your hometown team. Even if your hometown team is like, I don't know, the fucking Lions. You, you still gotta support them because they're your hometown team. Like, but right now, the Buccaneers, they actually need to do something. Mitch Martin, you got to do something. If you don't, you might get replaced. I don't know. Mitch Martin could be like Blake Bortles. Oh, 80. Oh, my God. Hell, yo. Hey, yo, pause. What? Oh, he got hit sticked. Fumble the ball. and But luckily, number eight, bro. Requeez Barkley, the, was that Requeez Barkley who did that? Yo! But Mitch Martin. Oh, he caught it. No, he dropped it. I was about to say, things are getting much more crazier. But I think Requeez Barkley was the guy that hit sticked him. Because, damn. Or if not, he could have tackled the guy that picked up the fumble. Whatever it is, it counts. But, damn, the Packers didn't have to do them that dirty. Like, chill, dog. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah. There's something about Mitch, Mar Mitch Martin. Okay. Mitch Martin, he's scrambling. Too bad he was, you know, zigzagging all over the place. I don't know why he was doing that, to be fair. Now, I, now I was saying, as I was saying. Anyway, I, I was saying that Mitch Martin could be like the next Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles took his team to the conference championship, and now... He's in free agency. Yes, he was signed by the Broncos for like a day and then they cut him because of a quarterback situation. But right now, Blake Bortles is currently out of a job right now, I think. I might not be mistaken, but he is out of a job, which sucks because I because people actually like Blake Bortles. I like Blake Bortles, man. I wish he could come back. And what's crazy is that he was selected number two overall, so that's even crazier. Like, not second, like, not second overall in, like, round five. No, second overall on the draft, which is crazy. I mean, would that technically count Blake Bortle as a bust? Mm, I don't even know. Right now, Mitch Martin's just gonna, what are you doing? What are you doing, cuz? That was to Ignacio, are you dumb? Like, what are you trying to do, cuz? All right, this time they got they it was out of bounds, so that stops the clock. Yeah, Mitch Martin could be the next Blake Bortles. You know he's gonna take his team to the conference championship. But Mitch Martin is gonna do total ass, and then he's gonna be out of the league within a few years. And now he passes it to Ignacio Jera. That's a good job, Ignacio. He did good. Wait, you're punting it? Ain't no way you're punting it. Oh, they're just faking it. 
Did he get the first down? No way he got the first down. He actually did. I thought that was a. I thought it was gonna be a turnover on down. Do you feel me? Anyway, Mitch Martin. Oh, I thought that was gonna be intercept. Wait, that was incomplete bullshit. His knees were on the ground before he even dropped the ball. Anyway, whoever wins this game, I don't care because the subscriber is gonna go to the NFC Championship as he's gonna break off a tackle. Hey yo, bro. Alright, now what will them Tampa Bay Buccaneers do? Mitch Martin. Mitch Martin? Martin? Martin. Just gonna throw that out. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, they're just gonna use this time to get in the field goal. I don't blame them. You need to get the points in order to win. I mean, that that's the basic rule. Football, come on. What are you saying? So right now... It's a pretty good game. Let me turn on my mic. Like, I was watching my new video when I had to put my computer on, like, 60 in order to hear myself. It just fucking sucks. Because I don't want my whole house to hear me saying shit. So that sucks. And when he gets the ball, oh, it's the Packers. See how they do. Oh, damn. They at the three-yard line? Really? Okay. How will they get out of this? Will this be a safety? Remember, safety is worth two points. So the Packers could easily be up 6-0. Will they? No, they're just going to simply run this in. I thought if he would have broke out that tackle, he could have took it in for TD. Like dead ass. Right now, he's just going to run this in. Oh, damn. Compton, though, he's just carrying the... He, nah, not really carrying the team, but damn, he's helping, though. He's try he's contributing to those first downs. Now, how will Mitch Martin come out of this situation? They he was just gonna pass it in to eighty one, not eighty. Eighty one. Right now, I'm just curious on how the Tampa Bay Bucks get out of this. They could be like the twenty seventeen Pittsburgh Steelers. We go 13-3, then lose to the Jaguars in like the divisionals in their first playoff game. Which, by the way, as a Steelers fan, that fucking sucked. Thank God the Jaguars got knocked out of the divisionals. Now, Mitch Martin going to pass it in. It's good. No, 85 is, you know, doing good. I like these Tampa Bay Bucks. Will they go to the conference finals? That's the real question. But if the Packers go to the conference finals, I ain't gonna be mad because that's a subscriber team, so they get another chance. And Requeez Barkley, he seems to be a fan favorite, so that's good. But Ignacio, he was considered to be one of the worst players in Madden 20, and now he's on the best team in the league. And now, he might as well, he might be this close to a conference championship. Just like on in season one, nobody thought Maxwell Mendez would do this good, but he took his team to the conference championship and was the only subscriber to make a Pro Bowl that year. So basically, that means he won Rookie of the Year in season one, Madden 20. So yeah. Right now, oh, yo, one of the Packers guys is down. That sucks. Is, Mitt, is the Bucks really going to take this down the field at the three-yard line and attempt to score a TD? They will! 83 just breaking off these. He's just. He's just balling out this game. First, he picked up a fumble. And now, he's here trying to contribute to this team's success, which is crazy. Like, I'm talking so much about this. Like, I have so much to say. And is that the end of the third already? How? Anyway, passes 81. Oh, I think he got... Yeah, he got it in. Anyway, end of the third. That was a long-ass quarter. Holy shit. By the way, I'm thinking of changing, like, the season two quarters from six minutes to seven-minute quarters because I just feel like that's just a little bit longer and it's more natural. I feel like six minutes just is kind of way too short. By the way, that's a nice tackle from Ruquiz Barkley. Damn, that's his third tackle of the game, actually. R Mitch Martin, you are not... Getting your team up this close. I did not watch this drive just for you to wait, stand there, do nothing, just to take the sack. 
ain't no way they actually going to. They're, they're running it. They're running it, and it, it almost worked. Now, will they take the field goal? If they take the field goal, that means they're really confident. Oh, they're going for it. Okay, I was okay. I was not. Ex I was kind of not expecting that. Who's gonna pass for the TD? He's just gonna throw it by a mile. That's disappointing as fuck. Oh, are they gonna stop him? Third and seven. They're gonna stop him. They're gonna have another chance, bro. Bro. Ain't no way. I fucking. I thought Madden glitched. I pressed circle. I can't exit out now. We have to watch it now. So. Here it is. We gotta watch the game now. We gotta watch the end of the game. We have to watch this whole thing. I mean, it ain't too bad. Three minutes left in the third. What did he, what? What was he doing, cut? Still consider the first. I mean, that's kind of one of the do. I think I think the Bucks will take this down a field long enough in order for them to get the win. If they let's say intercept, if let's say they get intercepted, what is Mitch Martin doing? Like dead ass. Spending so much time on this game, like bro. I'm like, am I gonna have time? I you want. We don't care about time in here. If you want to watch the episodes, then watch the episodes. It's your own enjoyment. By the way, I noticed that some people are like, Hey man, Greg should pay attention to the defense more. Sometimes, I'm just so interested in the offense, just forget about the defense. Martin, are you costing the game? Fourth and five. You need this. If you don't, you're probably going to get cut after this season. You probably won't get cut because you like your team 13 to 3. But you know what I mean. Please don't run it. Please don't pull Penn State to run this on a 4th and 5th when the game's on the line. Oh, he's throwing it deep. You fucking dumbass. You're going to cut after this game. <laughs> Mitch Martin, what are you doing, cut? Now they have to stop the Packers defense again. But I'll let y'all know if. Oh, wait. Oh, that was good. That oh damn, that was good. All right, but I, I'll let y'all know. I'll cut to, I'll cut to see what happens if the Packers, let's say, blow the game. Well, let's say if they have to punt it, then I'll just take it back. I'll just you know simply, I'll just cut to you know the Bucks having the ball. But if you know, but if they win, but on this drive, then um I'm gonna just simulate, I'm gonna just cut to the end of the game. You'll find out. All right, look at that. The Bucks get the ball one more time. All right, so this time they're gonna go pass heavy now. Mitch Martin, this is his. This is the most intense drive of his career because this game is on the line. Is that Ignacio catching that, hey, bro? Mitch Martin, what are you doing, Cut? Oh, he catches it. Damn. He's just throwing small passes at this point. He's panicking. He's panicking, so he's doing small passes right here. Ignacio catches it. Too bad he can't break off a fucking tackle. All right. Luckily, they get, luckily the Bucks still got all three of their timeouts. They have a fucking chance. Oh, he caught that, bro. Oh, they they think they'll still have a chance. Mitch Martin, what are you doing? Ignacio catches that, but they're at the 40 yard line. On their, they're on the Packers 30 yard, 40 yard line. They have a chance. Mitch Martin just needs to kind of chuck it deep a little. Not right there, but that stops the clock for now. Third and two. Uh, will Mitch Martin actually have a fucking chance? That's that's who we're paying attention to because he's the fucking quarterback, and that's gonna get intercepted, and he's taking it on field. That is game. The Packers. The Packers are going to the conference championship. The Bucks. It doesn't matter about the Bucks anymore. They still got two timeouts left, but that's not really enough time to, you know, get them the ball back and drive it downfield and win the game. No, they lost. Fair and square. And 
Well, if you look at that, the Tampa Bay Bucks, even though they went 13 and three, had the best record in the league, and had a div and had a wild card bye, still loses. Ignacio still takes L's, even in Madden 21. Damn, that's wow. Mitch Martin, one touchdown, two interceptions. Even, I would say, oh man, he still maybe has room some room to improve. He is 28, he's six years pro. I think it's safe to say if the Bucks draft a QB in the draft, this could be it for Mitch Martin. This could be it for Mitch Martin. He might be the next Blake Bortles, if we're all being kind of serious, because he plays like him. Rushing though. Oh wait, no one's on rushing. Receiving. Ignacio for catches 17. You know, he got some couple good catches on the final on the final like drive, but unfortunately all of them were like for like over over five yards, so yeah, it didn't really do much. Them them Green Bay Packers, Requeez Barkley though, got three solo tackles. Two of them were no five total tackles, three of them were by himself, two of them were assists. By the way, was he the one who cost him? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I think he was the one that tackled him right after he fumbled the ball. So, yeah, that's a good game from Requeez Barkley. I like I like what they see. So, the Green Bay Packers, for the second year in a row in terms of Madden, in Madden 20 Season 3, they made the conference championship. And now in Madden 21, in Season 1, they're about to make the conference championship. Wow. I should stop wasting time. Let's just go to the next game. And we are back, this time with the Baltimore Ravens versus the Miami Dolphins. Whoever wins gets to face the Las Vegas Raiders in the AFC Championship, which is fun. Here is the Miami Dolphins. We had to shut them off in the wildcard because one of my friends wanted to, you know, watch the game. So I watched them on Discord. And, you know, it was not really a, it's, it's not really an interesting game. The score was 9-7, and Miami scored it all with field goals. The Dolphins, their numbers, alright, so Nicholas Rizlon's number 6, while Dodeca is number 29, so 6, 29. Keep that in mind. We're only watching the Miami Dolphins playing on offense. So right now, I gotta make sure Madden doesn't fuck up, which is like the last game, you feel me? Anyway, so right now, this game right here is pretty interesting because, you know, they they got the number one overall pick. Um, in the draft, and they use this like the Rizon, and in the second overall, in the second round, the first pick they picked in the second round was Dodeca, and they picked a really good, solid overall team around him. As right now, that's going to be a good pass. The Dolphins clinched the AFC. Um, no, they didn't clinch the conference, the AFC conference. They clinched the AFC East, I think. Yes, yeah, the AFC East. Which is pretty good for the Dolphins right now. Dodeca, just just doing a lot, doing everything. Dodeca, his first year in the playoffs, he actually won the Super Bowl, but that was while he was injured, so it doesn't really count. We'll say it counts. So, who knows? This could be the same for the Miami Dolphins. Tries to do a spin move right now. Rizon is proving to be a generational quarterback in the making. That's why you win number one overall. Everyone's excited to see what a number one overall pick has to do because there's so much pressure on you. It's not even funny. That snap was weird, but they're gonna run it off with Dodeca. Dodeca's season has just been off, just average at best this season. I mean, he's suffering from, I mean, it is a rookie season. You can make it to the excuse of, oh, rookie woes, that's it. But, like, he ran for 664 yards, and I looked at all of his games, and all of his games, he rushed, like, a, he never rushed over 70 yards. All of them were 60, 69 yards or below, which is kind of sad. But he did score five TDs, which I think is average for the run, for an average running back. I don't know. Whatever it is, who knows, maybe next season, Dodeca will score, like, maybe 2,000 yards in the season. I don't fucking know. Right here, just gonna pass it, which is good. Right now, Rizon is just dominating. He's about to win Rookie of the Year. He became no, in Madden 20, and in Season 1, he was signed as an undrafted free agent and was a 36 overall, but gained the hearts of everyone when he was a 36 overall starting QB for the Raiders and beat the Steelers, Turmoil and Kyle Steelers, 
in the first ever Madden subscriber league game ever in Madden 20, which is crazy. And now he improved over the years. And I think by the end of, I think by the end of Madden 20 season three, he went to like at least I think a 76 overall, which is a huge increase from a 36 overall to now a 76 overall by the end of the whole thing, which is good. I like seeing improvement. But right now, Rizon, he's trying to prove that he's trying to prove that he's the real deal. He's trying to prove that Madden 20 was just not a fluke. How is that not a touchdown? He was clearly on the line. Fourth and goal. Please tell me you're going to run this in. Okay, thank God. Run this in. If you don't get this in, oh my God. If you lose because you didn't get this in, I will be pissed off. Just going to use this time. They're going to kick it in? You're at the one yard line. You know what? It's early. Just take the points. Boom. Good. How do you get injured on a field goal kick? Fucking dumbass. Alright, let's see how Lamar Jackson and the Ravens doing. Because Lamar Jackson is the cover art of the game. And he's going to score a passing touchdown. Dolphins, your, your move. Your move. We're gonna watch this drive because why not? It's fun. Mike Chum. Right now, Rezon has the ball. He has an in. He's analyzing the field. And then he's gonna run this in with Odeka as he's just. The deck is just having a not good. Alright, I already said that before. But you get my point. He's just, this season is just not going the way everyone else expected this season to go. For example, right here, Rezon's gonna chuck this downfield. Oh, I thought he caught it for a moment. They deflected that. Let me get all oh, that. Oh, this is the third down. Okay. Okay, that's the third down. That's the third down. Okay. That was a weird snap. But Rizon's just gonna... That's a that's a weird decision. I don't know what Rizon was thinking. I mean, that is good if you have like a first down or something. But we have a... But when that's a third down? No way. That was not a good punt, and automatically the Ravens are up 14-3. This could be an ugly game. Right now, Rizon is here. Oh, crosses him up. Right now, Rizon's going to need to make a comeback. Right now, he can't let his disappoint. He can't well let his pretty good season come to a disappointing end. I mean, it isn't really disappointing if you're the first. Oh, oh, that's a flag on the play, but let me see. Who's, it's probably on the offense. Holding offense, of course. Come on, Kenny Fitzsimmons. You want, you, you're want you trying to blow the game? Second and eight. Luckily, they get to repeat the second down. Probably run the same play with their deco, which is exactly what they're going to do. Oh, nay. Number 38 was fast as fuck. Patrick Queen, I don't know who that is, but sucks for the Ravens. One more person down. And now the Dolphins, they could probably, that's probably their star player. Maybe they could exploit that position. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Oh, he catches it. 82. Saving it. Rizon's 10 for 11, which is pretty good, actually. Right now, Rizon, he's just trying to vibe. Right, so right now, he's just going to snap the ball to say hike. Say it. There we go. Rizon, just going to pass it to Dodeca, why not? That's going to be out of bounds, though. Wait, no, no, it wasn't out of bounds. Wait, was it? I don't fucking know. No, no, that was a register catch. It's just, he didn't gain shit. So Rizon has the ball, and now he's going to pass it in. That's a first down. Right now, they're going to start doing no huddles. They're just trying to, they're trying to at least get a point. They just... I feel like you. I feel like you should just gone for that touchdown in the beginning, not a field goal. But whatever floats your boat. You feel me? Right now he's gonna catch the ball. All right. So now. Oh, he's going to pass in, but that's a curl route. He knew it was coming, so they deflected it. Second and ten. Dodeca. Dodeca. No, no, Rizon. Rizon! 
Wait, touchdown Dolphins! How'd he catch that? How'd he catch that? Fowler! Fowler! Oh my god, this man! I want to see that replay. Look at them vibing, man. They happy. I'll be happy too. Rizon, under pressure, throws it to 82. No, 84. And catches it. How? Bro? Right now, they're going to get the extra point. How will Lamar Jackson, the Ravens, do? Wait a minute. They ain't going to get anything. Oh, they got the field goal. Okay. Alright, so right now, where is the Dolphins' defense? They you just giving up this many points? Yep, they will. They're the Dolphins. Where's your defense? That's what you need in the draft. You need a fucking defense. Rizon, he's just trying to carry this fucking team to greatness, except he fucking won't. If no teams just get into the Super Bowl in their first season, I won't be surprised as Rizon's just gonna take out threw it away. Rizon gonna k throw it in. That's gonna be good. Rizon is just gonna need to try. He's just gonna try and try and get the dub. You feel me? So right now, Rizon gonna pass it in the 82. Right now, he's just helping them get the dub. Right now, this time they're gonna try and attempt to run this off with Dodeca and only gets a yard. Dodeca is having a terrible game. What the hell? Right now, gonna run this in. He gets tangled up. Only gets a couple yards. Third and five. I feel like you should do just like a little quick slant. You feel me? Anyway, right now. I don't know who to blame that on. Oh, of course they're down by a lot, so of course they gotta go for it. If you try to punt it or kick a field goal, you're just a straight up dumbass. And your chances of winning will go down below 83. He's gonna catch that Riz on pass for 200 yards and one touchdown right now, which is good. That's good. That is good. It's just Riz on. He just Riz on is doing pretty good. It's just their defense just needs to, you know, learn how to play fucking defense. Right now, Rizon, 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 chucks it deep. Nah, he's just gonna, nah, that's just an excuse to throw it away. Third, end of third. Now the fourth quarter. This is where Rizon needs to figure out. Oh wait, this is the final quarter. We need to do something right here. You feel me? Right now, that's gonna be a good catch. I thought he was gonna drop that because why? Because that looks like an animation where Madden would drop that. So, but it ain't. It ain't. It just ain't. It just ain't. Why right now? First and ten. At that point, I just start going past everything, exclu ex including number eighty-two, which is doing good. I like eighty-two. He is cool because he's because he's carrying the game. For example, they're gonna run this in right here. Oh, it crosses him up. That's a good touchdown from Dodeca. Dodeca gonna save it. Damn, he was just kind of going all over the place, including a, an amazing spin move, actually. Damn, that was a good spin move. Please don't miss this extra kick. Thank God. All right, please, Miami defense. If they don't stop them, the game might as well be over. Oh, oh. Fourth and one. They're going to punt it at the one. Miami's just going to need. Uh, do not. Don't. do. Don't fuck up. Let me do the math. Rizon, gonna catch it! Alright. Right now, wait, is that Brian Flores, the former head coach? Of the Miami Dolphins? Damn, he's the current coach of the Miami Dolphins, and now here he is, coach of the Ravens. 
trying to beat his former team. Right now, Rizon, he now realizes, oh wait a minute, this is the final quarter of play. We need to do something. Rizon, do something funny like this one right here. Rizon, unlike Mitch Martin, knows how to put up a game winning drive when he needs it. Because Rizon's just chucking it. He's chucking it beyond the 10 yard line. Unlike Mitch Martin, who loves 5 yards check down. Never mind. As he's just. Oh, wait, no. He's just going to throw it away. If that was any other quarterback, he would have just took the sack. Which I don't like. Because if he takes the sack, then Gertrude Perry is pretty much trying to lose the game. But Rizon, who is covering this man? Because I know it's probably the, it's the ghost. It's the ghost. That's who's covering him. Because ain't nobody covering him. Right now, is Rizon about to put up a 99-yard drive? I think he is. Right now, going to pass the 80. I thought he was going to fumble it. I don't know. That just looks like an animation Madden would do. Two-minute warning. They have two minutes in order to get something done on this jack. You feel me? Second and six. Let's see how they do. They can't go for a field goal because that's too little. And he's going to catch it. That's a good pass. So right now, they're going to need a touchdown and an extra point in order to tie it up. Good catch from Dodeca. That's a nice catch. Right now, Rizon is here. And that's going to be touchdown, Dolphins. Just like that, the Dolphins are back in action. Tie game. Oh, wait. They gotta kick and miss a PAT. If you miss this, number three kicks it in. It's good. Okay, good. So that's pretty good from the Miami Dolphins. That was a good 90. Dang, Rizon took that shit 99 yards down the field to score a touchdown. That is the Rizon I know and love. That is the Rizon everyone knows and loves. Now, even though there's nobody on the Baltimore. You know, offense or nobody on the Miami Dolphins defense? We're gonna watch till the end of the game. If Madden doesn't fuck up, thank you. That would have been horrible. We'll watch till the end of the game. Let's see how Lamar Jackson and them managed to, you know. Oh! Oh, damn. Remember, they still got all three of their timeouts. Now, don't count them out just yet. Now, even though there's no. Even though I don't like being biased. Lamar, you gotta let the Lamar scramble. Why don't you got a QB spy on him? Bro, he is the Lamar Jackson. You know you don't let him scramble. Look, he's gonna scramble right here. Oh no, he's just shocking that shit deep. Don't let him catch it. Okay. Damn, is Justin Tucker still around? No, it's Tim Cooker. He, he's gonna cook it up if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh man, I love making dumbass jokes. Alright, right now Lamar Jackson, he's just going to need to put it in at least to the 35-yard line in order to make this good. Why is no one covering Lamar Jackson? You're letting him get this open? You fucking dumbasses. He is the Lamar Jackson. You don't let him open. Look at this. They're in field goal range now. Now you have to pray you got a block to kick in order to win this. Or you got to pray you fumble it and, get the, and pick it up. Or you got to pray that they pass it and then you got to intercept it. Otherwise, this game is out of reach. Unless they don't. Oh, no, they still have one more timeout left. They ain't gonna fuck up. Look, they're just gonna run this in. And look at that. Third and inches. They're just gonna. It's just gonna kick in this field goal. Miami still has all three of their timeouts. They're just gonna ice. Oh, they're gonna ice their kicker. Ain't no. Alright, well, game winning drive. They just let Lamar Jackson open. Because fuck it. It's the, it's the Dolphins defense. Dolphins need a fucking defense. They have a good offense, just their defense. Can they actually block? No, they won't. <sighs> well. Two minutes left. Remember, the Dolphins, they actually did have the Miami Miracle once. They're just going to return the kick? Okay. I mean, if, if you like losing the game, then, well, congratulations, Dolphins. You're out of the playoffs. 
Well, you know what they say. It's not their year. They're still, you know, remember they had the number one overall pick this year. So they're probably going to lose at some point. They ain't going to take it all the way to the Super Bowl. You feel me? I think what the Dolphins need to do, they should work on a de defense. Remember, no matter how... In, in, Remember, remember, remember how they say defense wins championships. I think they're right. I like. I'm an offensive guy, but I need. But you know, we need to rely on defense because otherwise, you'll be like the Miami Dolphins or the 2020 Dallas Cowboys or the 2020 Atlanta Falcons. All right, Rizon, 320 yards, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Rizon actually tried. He actually tried to win the game. He did a 99-yard drive in order to win it, except he didn't. Rushino Dodeca, 16 yards, horrible game, and with 10 attempts, but he got a touchdown. He got a touchdown. It's good. But damn, that's sad. I'm, I feel bad for Rizona Dodeca. This was going to be the year. Welp, in the next episode, we can only watch one game. And in the Super Bowl, we can only... Welp. It's going to be a non-subscriber for the subscriber Super Bowl, which is the first time ever, actually. So, let's just get into the next game. And we back for the final game, which is the Niners versus Bears. Now, the Niners, even though they're 7-9, and nine, they won the wildcard round and somehow advanced to the Divisionals. I don't know how they do it, but right now, they're facing them Chicago Bears. They got Johnny Ice Cube on them. Will they win the Super Bowl? Who knows? Well, if they can get to the Super Bowl, that is. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, right now, we're, we're gonna we're gonna you know simulate. We're gonna simulate the play. It's right now. Um, who gets the ball in the Niners? Okay. If the Niners actually make it as far as to the conference championship, I won't be surprised as hell. Cause you're a seven and nine team. How are you in the playoffs? Only reason a 7-19 can make the playoffs is A, everyone in the league only scores like 6 wins and you're the only one that's got like 7 wins so you win the league or B, you're the only good player, you're the only good team in that, in that you know, division and everyone else in the division is bad and uh, I'm just talking too long. Johnny Ice Cube's 87, Niners 8, and then Kyle's 82. 82, 87, both of them as number one wide receivers so I'm hoping they get a lot of touches. Slow. Wait, what am I doing? Throw the fucking ball. So right now, 82. Kala has the ball. If they can actually get it as far as the conference finals. Oh my god. Right now, they're going to throw it in. That's going to be deflected. Left, right, left, right. Fitzsimmons. Right here. Oh. Right here, Fitzsimmons. Juan Fitzsimmons. I don't know how he's still in the league. Like, if his team did not make the playoffs, the Niners definitely would have drafted the quarterback. But since they're in the divisionals now, guess they're sticking with Fitzsimmons. Why not? Sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Right now, ooh, he's going to do a nice spin move, though. But remember... Oh, is it, oh, yo, if the Chicago Bears win this, they'll face their division rivals, the Packers, in the conference championship. That's nice to think about. Now, if the Niners win this, though, well, that's good for them. They're a pretty successful franchise. They got four Super Bowl, franchise, they got four Super Bowl titles alone from Joe Montana. And they got one off Steve Young. Well, Steve Young was the starter. Well... In all of his years as a, as a Niners quarterback, he was uh, five Super Bowl champions. Actually, that's not that's fun to think about. But right now, they're just gonna punt this for now. You know, they got hopefully. Remember, the Niners they are seven and nine. Some of their players are actually retiring after this season. So hopefully, the Niners, like I said in the beginning of you know the playoffs, hopefully they can. Hopefully they can do good. Like Brian Cooper, 2,191 yards, 18 touchdowns. That's a terrible season, actually. Holy shit. Like, that's a bad season. How do they made it this far? They probably have a really good run game. That's probably how. But right now, 
like, I think yeah, I saw this at the beginning of, like, the last video featuring the Niners. Like, I think that, like, some of their players are actually retiring this season, so, and, and, like, all the players, all the veterans are like, yeah, let's, let's, let's group all together and let's win this all for this guy. I think the guy is Fred Warner. Yeah, it's Fred Warner. So, Fred Warner, he's having his last hurrah with the Niners, and the Niners, they're trying to make everything possible in order to make the Super Bowl, even though they're literally a 7-9 and nine team. I don't think... I don't think a losing record team has ever made the Super Bowl. Actually, only three losing record teams have actually made the playoffs. And surprisingly, all of them have at least won one game, which is kind of surprising. Right now, the Bears... <laughs> right when I was talking about Fred Warner, he's down. He's down for the count. Damn. And now, I think this could be the reason why the Niners lose this game. Never mind. They're just going to... He's just gonna tackle him. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Right here. Um. He's just gonna. All right. He's just gonna run this in. They're gonna pass this. Oh, that's gonna be a good pass. Remember, we gotta look out for 87. That is not Johnny Ice Cube. How will they handle this? Right now, they're just gonna run this in. And this time, they're just gonna gain a couple yards. Second and seven. Right here, number 85 is going to catch it. As now they're going to run this in. And now they're going to have the ball again. They're gonna pass it in, and he's gonna drop it, you dumbass. Right now, he has the ball. He's gonna pass it in. That's gonna be first and goal. That's gonna be the end of the first. Right now. And they're going to run this in for a touchdown. And now, we're going we're gonna to simulate like a little bit. Damn, so it looks like the Bears are back. By the way, they did score a touchdown because Juan Fitzsimmons got intercepted. Right now, no one's stopping the running back. That's literally the only reason why they're winning. Who is this kid 30? True man. Like, Cedric Truman is just carrying the team. Dang, the defense and the Truman is just carrying the Bears. I'm going to watch this drive for the Niners. How are they going to come back this? Like, I'm curious, actually. How will they come back? I need to know. Will they come back? If this is the end for them, I generally won't be surprised. But if they do come back, then that's going to be surprising. Because, come on, the Bears are known for their good defense. So, so play like it. Play like you have a defense on the line. So now the Niners. Fitzsimmons passes it to 80. Dang, that's just, I saw that same animation literally the exact same game. Sure. Whatever floats the boat. Right now, we're gonna do a jet sweep with 87 carrying the game. Curry, like Stephen Curry. Right now, he's just gonna scramble this time. That okay, that's pretty cool. 
But the real question is, will that lead them to a W? Now, Juan Fitzsimmons. Juan Fitzsimmons. Gonna throw this to 89. He and he's actually gonna get a few too many yards. Six yards. That was that actually was successful. Juan Fitzsimmons realizes his game is on the line and career is maybe on the line. But damn, is he gonna catch that ball? 87 is just balling. Maybe if you pass it to Kala, that'd be nice. So right now he's gonna pass it in. And that's gonna get picked off! Again, he's going, he's going, and he's gonna get Shoeways tackled. Anthony Davis. Wow. Alex Davis. That could be the ball game. And they're gonna punt this. The Niners? What are you doing, Connor? Bro. I mean, I ain't surprised. They're a 7 and 19. That's literally their only excuse. Don't run this up the middle. You. They're running this up the middle. You fucking dumbasses. Now, ain't no way they actually gonna punt this, right? Okay, good. They ain't punting shit. Now, they are gonna pass this, right? Don't fucking run this on a 4th and 9. Thank God they won't. And this time, 87 is gonna catch it. He's saving the day. Alright, right now. Fitzsimmons. This could be his final chance to gain some relevance back again. Here's what he's going to need to do. Chuck it downfield the most. What? It, why are you throwing check downs? I mean, if it's the call, then fine. But why? You need to win this game. You're down by two touchdowns. Here's what I was doing if I was Niners. Keep chucking in downfield. Not like that, though. And he's going to fumble it. The Niners season's over. Game over. If I was the Niners, I would have kept chucking it downfield. Get a touchdown. Punt it. Stop the Bears. And then get the ball back. Just keep chucking it downfield. Get a touchdown to tie the game. Except that ain't happening. Their season's over. Now they're going to score another. That game is just over at this point. Yep, over. And well, if you look at that, the Niners season's over. It was expected, but it is what it is. Kala, though, he's seeming to have a prominent future. And I don't know how Brian Cooper managed to lead the team to a fucking Super Bowl. He's a 91 overall, and he threw for 2,000 yards and 16 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. What is that? Was he injured the whole season? Like, bro... Now, Brian Cooper, he might be the next Rex Grossman. He's going to be a mediocre quarterback that's somehow going to lead the Bears to a fucking Super Bowl. Or he might be the next Jay Cutler, who also led the Bears to a conference championship. Damn, why is it with the Bears and, make, and being successful with mediocre quarterbacks? So, receiving, who was the better receiver overall? Bears, Ice Cube caught the ball 37 yards. Niners, Colin caught the ball 2 yards with 22 yards. Damn, but anyway, that is going to be it. Let's just take a look at next week's schedule.